Good morning and welcome to the Contracts Committee of the New York City Council. I'm Council Member Ben Kalis. I have the privilege of chairing this Contracts Committee. If you're watching at home or via the live stream, feel free to participate by tweeting me at Ben Kalos. I'd like to extend my thanks to Council Members Rose and Carnegie for their continued support of the M. WBE community, uh, minority and women business owned business enterprises. Uh, these are terms of art from uh, decades ago that refer to businesses owned by women and people of color, uh, which are specifically defined in the statute. Uh, and they are the prime sponsors of legislation before this committee today. The council has long supported the city's Minor and women owned businesses through its various MWBE initiatives. The council has assisted MWBEs in expanding their role in both city procurement and the private sector. Both of the bills before the committee today are designed to improve access to city procurement for MWBE vendors through the codification of several recommendations offered in a most recent citywide disparities study. In order for the city to offer an MWBE program that provides preferences based on race or gender, it needs to provide a disparity study uh, that is conducted regularly that measures how many vendors are available within each uh, group of people of color as well as gender and measures whether or not they have an appropriate market share for how many that offer. When a uh, specific group receives fewer contracts from the city or subcontracts from that from the city than they are, are in the community, uh, that is considered a disparity. The disparity level that uh, receives protection is 0.8. Proposed introduction 1293B, sponsored by Council Member Debbie Rose and myself, would amend the definition of minority group for the purposes of the city's MWBE program to include Native Americans in all covered procurement categories and uh, place Asian Americans who provide professional services back into the system who had been previously removed in 2012 after they had reached a disparity of less uh, of greater than 0.8. Uh, this is, is not necessarily a positive occasion. Uh, the purpose of this program is to help lift people up uh, so that they no longer need these supports and uh, it's the right thing to do, but it is slightly disappointing, if not gravely disappointing, that to, to see a group have to be re-added to receive the protections and assistance of the MWBE program. Uh, uh, it, with regards to the Native American population, they now have enough vendors who are providing that there could be a disparity, which also speaks to centuries and centuries of improper actions by this nation. Both of the bills before the committee today are designed to improve access to city procurement for MWB vendors through the condition codification of several recommendations offered in the most study. Uh, introduction, sorry. Uh, introduction 1452A, sponsored by Council Member Carnegie, uh, would improve agency performance in meeting MWB contract participation goals. The bill would require the city's chief procurement officer in conjunction with the mayor's office of minority and women-owned businesses to more frequently update operational protocols for the city's MWBE program, as well as facilitate additional agency and contractor training of MWBE program implementation. The bill would also empower agency chief contracting officers to require contracting agencies to identify MWBEs that those agencies intend to employ for certain contracts. Finally, the bill would enable the chief procurement officer to exempt, per exempt portions of certain contracts from the MWB program in instances where the after an exhaustive search by contracting agency, it is determined that there are no eligible MWBE firms eligible to perform the work today. Uh, I want to uh, thank the uh, South uh, Asian American Association and uh, professionals associated with that association for coming out and uh, advocating in behalf of this legislation. I wholeheartedly support both pieces of legislation before the committee today and believe that the pair of bills can help overcome some of the administration's roadblocks and its efforts to achieving 30% MWB utilization in city contract. For these reasons, I'll be voting in favor of both bills and urge my fellow committee members to do the same. Before I call the roll, I'd like to thank the Contracts Committee staff, Legislative Counsel Alex Polinoff, Policy Analyst Casey Addison, Finance Analyst Andrew Wilbur, and Finance Unit Head John Russell. Uh, they worked with me in doing a lot of historical research and actually pulling the 2012 
uh, disparity study, if anyone's ever interested in uh, reading it. I also want to thank uh, my chief of staff, Jesse Towson, and uh, my not so no legislative director, Wilfredo Lopez, for all their hard work in preparing for this vote. On that note, I'd like to ask the cl clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote coming on contracts. Items are coupled. Chair Kalos. Aye and all. Barron. I vote aye. Perkins. I, I vote aye on all, and would like also to have my name associated with both bills. Yeager. I vote aye on intro 1452. I vote no on intro 1293. 1452 is adopted by the committee four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. In introduction 1293 is adopted by the committee three in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. This committee hearing is now adjourned. <laughs>